30% of our high school students say they vape. Um, so it, with, given our vaping rate, um, I think we'll probably see more cases. A week after the Knox County Health Department confirmed a case of a vaping related illness, the Tennessee Health Department is reporting five more respiratory illness cases. That brings the total number of cases in Tennessee to six. The Centers for Disease Control says as many as 450 people may be affected across 33 states. Many of them are teenagers and young adults. 10 News reporter Grace King joins us now and Grace Health leaders are sending out a very serious warning now. Robin, the CDC believes a chemical is responsible, but isn't sure yet what exactly that substance or device may be. And historians say this is similar to when we didn't know much about the dangers of smoking tobacco. It's not until the 1950s and 60s that it's proven that they cause lung cancer, heart disease, and other diseases. And with publicity, people start to learn the truth, and so they start trying to quit. There was a time when the effects of smoking tobacco weren't known. It's not a natural thing to force nicotine and all these other poisons into your lungs. Stanford History of Science professor Robert Proctor has studied the rise and gradual decline of the tobacco industry. Well, I've looked at the history of ignorance about tobacco, and I've also looked at the cigarette as a designed artifact, and why is, how did it become the leading preventable cause of death? Now, he's seen history repeat itself with the vaping industry. There hasn't been the kind of research. We haven't had the kind of time to find out what the long-term effects are, are going to be. The CDC says as many as 450 people may have vaping-related lung illnesses. That includes at least one teenager in East Tennessee. They showed me the inside and the back of my lungs, and it looks like a bunch of, like, hundreds of pieces of broken up glass. Proctor says federal and state officials will get to the bottom of these illnesses. With these recent deaths, there's going to be more research. People are going to, you know, start trying to find the truth. That truth, however, may take time to come out. It took decades uh, for people to learn how deadly cigarettes are. And it takes so long to find out how deadly uh, e-cigarettes are. And while the specific cause of these lung illnesses hasn't been identified, officials are urging people not to use these e-cigarettes and to not purchase vaping products off the street. Robin? Grace, thank you.